So now, let's take a look at object-based cloner inside of Cinema 4D. So first of all, I'm going to bring in an object which I want to act as the cloner. So I'm going to go onto the object menu right here and I'm going to take an object as a reference. In my case, let's say I want to take an object such as uh, this pyramid as a reference. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to press NB so that I can see all of the divisions right over here. So I'm going to increase the segments right over here so you can see uh, the thing that is going on right over here. This is the object. Now I need to apply a cloner over there. So I'm going to go over to MoGraph and I'm going to bring in a cloner right over here. So now what I want to do is I'm just going to drag this pyramid over here onto the side. On the cloner, I need some object uh, which actually stays in here. So I'm going to go over here and then bring in an object of my choice. In my case, I'm going to bring in a torus just like that. I'm going to res rescale this in size just like that and drag in the torus under the cloner. And by default, you can see that it's a linear cloner right here. That is three objects are shown in. So I'm going to go over to the cloner and on the mode, I'm going to change it into object. So I'm going to go over here and right on the first option, you see that there's object uh, right over here. So I'm just going to click it. Once I click it, you can see that nothing happens because there's no object here. So what I need to do is I want this pyramid as an object reference. So I'm just going to drag this pyramid over onto the object just like this. And you can see that this is what happens. Now, the uh, torus that, that was actually seen is a part of the the uh, the shape right here. It, so it is on uh, the shape right here. So I'm going to just bring in the pyramid over here. So I'm just going to bring in the pyramid onto the center just like this. And on the cloner, let's see the option which I can work with. So you can see that now I can go with uh, mode of object right here. This clone right, uh, right now, the iterate is here. You can also go for random section right here. You can go for bend and so forth. So there are different clone, clone modes, uh, cloner modes as you can see right here. So you can also fix the clone modes and everything else. You can increase the count which increases the level of cloners as you can see right there. You can also go over here onto the pyramid I, I, and disable it. So I'm just going to add it onto a layer. So I'm just going to add new layer from the object selection and then disable the visibility right over here so that I can just see uh, the cloner object right over here. So I'm going to go on to the cloner onto its attributes and over here you can see that you can increase the count. You can also increase it more just like this and it'll follow the object cloner just like this. You know, also increase and decrease the seeds over here so you can uh, change the position of it and you can see that it is taking the pyramid C. The, dif the distribution is surface right now but I can also do it to vertex just like this so it uh, arranges uh, it around with the vertex so it is much more organized as you can see right here. You can also go around and choose the edges right over here so it aligns it to the edges. It also the polygon center so it aligns everything to the polygon center right over here and also to the surface so surface is mostly randomized and volume is uh, when everything piles up inside as well as you can see just like that and there are other things that we can work around as well so distribution volume even its axis is like this so now I'm going to change this around uh, into something like the vertex right over here and I'm going to go into the pyramid right now you can see that there's nine segment if I were to increase this you can see that it can increase the number of instances of uh, that object uh, right over there just by increasing the segments because for each of the vertex that is present in uh, the object it is um, bringing that out in the cloner itself. So over here, there's some other options that you can uh, go for as well. You can change the axis of each of these uh, just like that as well. And then work around with these just like that. So you can go for different type of instances and everything else just with the help of this object cloner just like that. So that is how you can work around with an object cloner inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.